Senator Cruz joins us now. It's interesting because uh, Trump also left them secure borders, energy independence. We didn't have inflation. Uh, we had low gas prices. So that is one big lie, and I'm glad you called him out on it, Senator. Never in my lifetime, Senator Cruz, did I think we'd abandon Americans behind enemy lines when we had months and months and months observing and watching with our intelligence community. This is not an intelligence failure. I've been told repeatedly by many sources, telling them they're on the march. We could have safely extracted and withdrawn every American, every Afghan ally, and all our military equipment. This is beyond incompetence to me. Your thoughts? Well, I think that's exactly right. This, this is the worst foreign policy disaster in a generation. And it was really two things that drove it. One, radical ideology. These guys are naive. They think they're in a college faculty lounge. They think the Taliban wants to be welcomed and embraced at, 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 at the U.N. coffee bar. And, and number two, manifest incompetence. They combine the two. Uh, with a series of decisions that were just disastrous. Abandoning the Bagram airfield, it has no justification. A hundred years from now, Sean, at the War College, they're going to teach abandoning Bagram two secure airstrips, a secure perimeter protected from terrorist attacks, and we gave it to the Taliban, moving our evacuation instead to the Kabul International Airport, a dense urban environment controlled by the Taliban. That cost the lives of 13 servicemen and women. They didn't have to die. If we'd been at Bagram, there's a very good chance that secure perimeter would have kept them alive. This was incompetence, and it was radical ideology. And I'll tell you, Sean, Blinken had two admissions today that were really significant. Number one, I asked him flat out, is it true that the Biden administration gave the Taliban a list of Americans and a list of Afghans we wanted out? And after he hemmed and hawed, he finally said, yes, we gave them a list. That is terrifying, and it may very well have functioned as a kill list, putting them in harm's way. And then secondly, I asked him if it was true, the reports, that there had been a number of Afghan refugees, Afghan men, who came with little girls, little girls who they claimed were their wives, were they facing child brides of little girls being sexually assaulted, being raped by grown Taliban men. Again, Blinken said, yes, the U.S. State Department was effectively trafficking child predators and children. In both instances, he refused to answer the follow-up question, how many names did you give the Taliban? How many children are being sexually assaulted while the Biden administration is bringing them to U.S. soil? I, I am aghast hearing you describe it, Senator, but they keep referring to the Taliban as professional and businesslike. Professional and businesslike. Uh, how could they not understand these are terrorists? They're now out there. We're chronicling beheadings. We're chronicling torture and, and, and literally ripping nails out of people's hands before shooting them in the head and hunting people down and beating women in the streets and child brides. It's only the beginning. And no, no, no affirmation. We, they still don't know how many Americans and how many green card holders and how many of our allies did they abandon? Because they abandoned them, and many yes. will die, Senator. Those yes. people you're describing will die. They will be murdered brutally. There are at least hundreds of Americans that they abandoned behind enemy lines. It may be thousands. There are thousands of legal permanent residents in America, green card holders, that they abandoned. And there may well be tens of thousands of Afghans who risked their lives helping us who they abandoned behind enemy lines. And many of them tragically face the risk of torture or death or both. Senator, you raised the issue about all the billions and billions of dollars of American military might left behind our equipment. And he actually tried to make the case that it will not be used against their neighbors. It will not be used against people that they yep. deem to be their enemy. Uh, please tell me, how, how does somebody, how do I say this nicely? There's no nice way to say it. How, does, how can somebody be that ignorant, that stupid, that naive, and that dumb yep. to not believe? Because we already know what's happening with the equipment. 
Now, that, that, that's exactly right, and he's repeating partisan talking points. Unfortunately, the Biden administration, they're playing the blame game, and their talking point is it's Trump's fault, it's Trump's fault. One Democrat at the hearing today said we should have hearings on George W. Bush, that it's not even just Trump's fault, it's Bush's fault. I mean, they're reaching for anything except for the actual commander-in-chief that screwed this up. And, and I got to say, when Blinken today said, well, yes, some $80 billion of American uh, weaponry and, and, and vehicles fell into the hands of the Taliban, but it will not be used against us or our allies. What utter nonsense. 33 Black Hawk helicopters. Last I checked, the terrorists didn't start with 33 Black Hawks. And I, I'll tell you what may be actually the biggest game changer. Because their point on, on the vehicles is that they don't have the equipment to maintain them. That may be right, so it may be in relatively short order they can't keep them in the air. Although with, with the Chinese or Russians, they could get assistance in helping maintain those vehicles. But, but what might be the biggest game changer is there are over 10,000 night vision goggles that, 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 that the Taliban now has. Big if deal. you talk to, to the refugees of Afghanistan, that was really the game changer, that we owned the night, that we could see at night, we could take out the terrorists, and they couldn't. They were blind at night. They now have American night vision goggles, and Americans will die because Joe Biden allowed the oh. Taliban to get those night vision goggles. Senator, thanks for being with us.